Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft The Survival Let's Play series. I'm going to switch over to my main view right now because if an Enderman comes in front of me, I am dead. So let's go. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry the last episode was not in... Did that? Huckland just going through the portal. All right, that's fine. But yeah, I'm sorry the last episode was not... But the last episode was not in Minecraft, uh, in the new uh, snapshot. The snapshot literally came out like while it was uploading or rendering or something like that. So that's, yeah, that's that's annoying. It came out literally later that day that I had recorded it. So that's interesting. Um, another interesting thing. These blocks seem to have lost their sound. So that's that's interesting. Guess they will have to get a look on that. And now, of course, they have despawned. That's just lovely. Um, but yeah, you may recall, if you did not last watch the last episode, spoiler, we found a nether fortress. We did not loot it other than one chest, and we did get four gold, which is good, because we will have to be dealing with piglins and hoglins today, because I want to make, well, the preparation of a hoglin farm, because they can be bred. Um, and I don't know, the thing is, I don't know if they despawn or not. So that is the, my main concern right here. That is, if the if the Huglins despawn or not. Um, but we will make a start to it anyway, no matter what. Uh, so let's let me plant a few more mushrooms, because I am in desperate need for food. And the Huglins now drop leather and um, and pork chops. So that is really cool, and that is something that we will be requiring, um, because these mushrooms are starting to become. A bit of an issue. Oh no, uh, they're right here, and I do not have any gold armor on. The piglins will attack you if you are not wearing um, any sort of golden armor. You don't need the full set, just a single piece. Which is why I'm so happy we have four, because that means I can get some golden boots on me. Uh, do I have any... Okay, let me empty my inventory real quick here. Uh, like so. I'm gonna keep that there. I'm gonna keep these on me, of course. Um, I'm gonna get that with me, but today I also I want to make a fence for the um, for what is it what what the what, 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 what the hucklins, um, just in case we can actually breed them. But I also want to make a uh, tree plantation, um, so that we will so that we will work on today as well. So let's get started, shall we? First priority, food. I need food, but that unfortunately means taking my last two brown mushrooms, unless I can go ahead and find some. So let me go in here, let me grab my gold, I already have it, and let's get on the golden boots. This way we will at least be neutral with the piglins, and also I'm gonna grab the golden sword. Uh, I already have that on me as well, cool. Um, but yeah, that is our goals for today. We will then, um, I think, raid the Nether Fortress in the next episode. So now I have golden armor on. So now these guys should not attack. And I have seen that if you throw, the, I believe it's if you throw the golden stuff, they could give you some in return. Let me double check on that. So it says right here, I have the Minecraft Wiki open right now. Um, uh, where is it? You can barter with them by right-clicking with golden ingots or drop them. Oh, golden ingots. Okay. But I thought... Alright, so I got a little bit confused. They will throw you stuff if you use golden ingots. Um, you can distract them with like other golden stuff, such as golden carrots, golden apples, uh, golden swords. Should work as well. Um, I just got confused because I saw the video of Sasuma Void covering the um, the snapshot, and I remembered him throwing other golden stuff at the piglins. But the thing is, they will only bother if you throw them golden ingots at them. Um, they will be distracted by other golden stuff, but the golden um, uh, the gold ingots is the way to to bother with them. So that's. That's a bit unfortunate, but I can at least smell this down to gold nugget. But what I'm here for right now is just to find some potential mushrooms before we continue, and also some of these crimson fungies, because I will be needing some of those for our tree thing. Unfortunately, right now, these things do not drop any of their saplings back, so they're not 
like a hundred percent renewable actually so that's a thing to keep in mind but yeah I'm just grabbing some of these crimson fungies and hopefully also finding some mushrooms very soon some brown ones I have red but brown ones I need um, and yeah hopefully I don't fall or something to so that I die so hopefully I'm gonna survive this I think I have an issue on my hand that's a hugglin, and I think it's after me. Or was at least. I'm gonna go... Oh, there's more up there. I want to get them. Um, <laughs> I want to get them, but this is a good idea, actually. I'm gonna leave these there. I'm gonna keep searching for mushrooms in this other direction. And once I come back, let's see if they're still there to see if they despawn. If they despawn, we'll make the fence for them. Oh, dear. We'll make the fence for them. But I won't actually get them over there. I will just, well, hunt for some to get some better food. But, uh, yeah, that's that's going to be, I think, my plan for right now. Now, where can I find mushrooms? <sighs> uh, the piglins and the hoglins, by the way, they spawn in this, um, in this, what's it called, crimson forest. And the piglins also will spawn in the uh, deserted, Netherlands or whatever it's called basically the biome that was the original nether so that's a thing to keep in mind as well but look at this it looks so cool I love it give me this and this and that that's seven and this just gotta be careful again because I only have one heart right now if a hoglin come over and says hi I'm gonna have some issues the piglin also if you did not know they will um, sometimes attack hucklings, but only when they need to. They won't just go out, go around and kill all of them. I also want, I think, four or so of these. So let me get a few of these from random spots. Um, this is getting a little bit dangerous. But yeah, I'm going to search for some mushrooms and we will get back to building the stuff that we need to build because this is already getting a little bit long. There's a hoglin. I want to go in the opposite direction, please. I just need mushrooms, but yeah, I'll be back in a moment. That island is interesting. Um, <laughs> that's, that's a fun island to stumble upon. No mushrooms yet, so I think I might need to go back. Get The thing is, I'm on one heart. Those guys drop meat. Thing is, I risk I take a high risk of dying if I go ahead and try and kill them. But I think I have to hit back and just... I think the strategy is to pillar up two blocks, then they sh hopefully cannot hit you. And that should allow me to still reach them and be able to kill them. I think I'm going to try that. I think I'm going to hit back and I'll try to kill a few on, uh, yeah, on my way back. So I'll be back once I find one. There is a f few. I think there's one right here. I'm gonna go up three blocks just to be safe for now. Because I can still hit it from here, it seems. So that's good. I'm just gonna whack it with my sword. And until it dies. Come on. Die. There we go. Good. And there goes my pickaxe. <laughs> and break that with my hand. Poke chop. That's good. So now we can actually get. As I said, the Huglins can actually be bred, so that is great news. The only thing is they just have to not despawn like squids do, which is super annoying. Um, I'm going to go this way, <laughs> because there's one over there that I would like to get. I just need to heal and then basically kill a bunch of these to get the food that I require and then not run too much which is hard for me because I feel like it's so slow but I actually came from this direction so let's forget about that one it seems like the piglins have had a little battle with one of these and there was one lever here uh, I don't know what is going on over there I'm not gonna find out but yeah they drop leather so that means we can also get leather armor if we can get enough of them thing is if they uh, you have to be so careful if they, um, I did not come from here. If they despawn, 
then it's gonna be kind of difficult to farm them so that's a bit of concern but there is actually hope because there are still two over there and I don't know if it oh no a skeleton okay well this is interesting uh, the portal spawn is not safe anymore <laughs> I think the only reason why it doesn't attack me is because it didn't see me. Well, I mean, I got my hunger issues fixed, so now I just need to get back and get my stuff. <laughs> you know what? It was bound to happen. Alright, let's admit it. It was bound to happen that I died because I only had one heart. Okay, I can't go that far without dying. So I'm going to get back, uh, get my stuff somehow. Hopefully that skeleton will be dead. And uh, we'll continue our day. So we'll be right back. Alright, I'm almost there. The only issue is these guys will now attack me for not having golden armor on. So that's gonna be an issue. I'm just gonna have to run very fast like this and hope they don't follow me that far and come in my way. This Huglin here. Goodbye. I'll get back for you in a moment. Okay, looks like that skeleton is gone. First priority, get golden boots on. Second, get everything else. Wow, this stuff really flew. Are you seriously following me all this way? Just to kill me? <clears throat> yeah. I am in trouble because they do hit kind of hard. Okay, and hep, hep, and hep. <sighs> okay. You didn't give me much time to recover, did you? Get back here, you coward. Man, I lost my axe. I lost a bunch of stuff. <laughs> okay. That's fine. But I did get my pork chop, so that's good. Never mind this. Let me get back home and let's uh, let's make a place for these guys and try and... Uh, try and see if we can breed these guys. And hopefully if they don't despawn. Uh... I think they do, because now there's only one there. There was like three. Oh, there's my axe. There's like there. Was, I think there was like three before, or two and a young one. So that's a bit concerning. But let's let's try it. I'm gonna get a hoe, and we're gonna try it. We will try. All right. So this is wonderful. Pork chop, wood, and it burns. Sweet. Alright, so this is the stuff we will need for this project. We will need one more warped funty. We will actually need quite a few more. But for now, this should be able to cut it. So I want to, again, I want to make a place for the huglins and I want to make a place for the wood. Ah, that feels so good being able to eat proper food. Let's get rid of that. And let's keep this cooking. And let's go and mark where I want this stuff to be. I do need to chop down, unfortunately, one more of these uh, trees here, but I think we can afford to get rid of this one. And then I see a bunch more over there, so that's good. I'm gonna leave the lighting, because I want the lighting here. Do we have more about some of that? No, all right. But yeah, we have this huge one here that we can kind of start to chip a bit from. Just wanted to check if there were a hidden pocket of uh, mushrooms, that would be great. But yeah, I'm going to take a bunch of this, because we're actually going to need a bunch of blue fence. So I'm going to take this. Should be plenty for now. We also need four of this blue stuff right here. I'm going to take that. Actually, that's going to bug me. Give me that instead. All right. We need four of that. We also need four red, but we have some right next doors, right over there. So we'll take from that. Uh, I'm gonna actually go in and grab my crafting table with me because we're gonna need it. Thank you. It's so nice to have pork chops. Can you believe it actually? Pork chops in the nether. You can get food from being in the nether. That's actually pretty cool. So my plan is to make it right here. Um, so I want to make all that into planks and then we need to make a bunch of sticks. I'm gonna go and chop some more red wood so that's fine. Uh, do 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 do. All right. 
First off, I want to fill this up right here. This entire thing needs to be filled up like so. And we need to contain this lava. Eh. Okay. And then we need to contain it from over here and here and here and here. I have, I, I think I got this. <laughs> and then we also want to get this back a bit also because guess what? I need more netherrack. So let's put this back a little bit further. Let's chop this too. Yeah, that should be fine. Let's fill this in as well and let us then continue and you'll see what on earth I'm up to. Okay, this, uh, I need some more. I need some more. Alright, so now with everything filled in, I want a fence, of course. So if I put the fence here, Literally right there. <sighs> I thought I got attacked. So if the fence goes on along this way, the sapling needs one, two, three, and four. On the fourth spot needs to be the sapling. The reason for that, actually, is it two? Yes, two. It's two, sorry. So it would have to be right here. That's where the sapling should be um, compared to the fence. Because what happens is it it grows, and then it goes out one, as we can see over here. Actually, is it two? Uh, I think if we... Mm, that's a little bit tough to, to say, actually. But if it's the, the main thing is, if it's too close to the fence, and it grows and it becomes short, it actually breaks the fence. So, or makes, makes the fence disappear. I guess that is a bug, but I'm not sure. I just assume it is. So let us do this, something like that. And let's just make a bunch of that because we are going to need a lot. Because I want to make not only blues, I also want to make reds as well. So can we push this one more back? Actually, yeah, we can. Let's push it back one more. So it starts right there. Then we can make this place for this. There we go. All right, and then go down and then over and then three, one, two, three. And then the next uh, thing right here, one, two, three, right here. And then three right here. And then we're just gonna take, I think, these one, two, three. I'm gonna replace it and four. How about that? Yeah, that seems okay. And then go on three and go on three, go on three, go on three. Now the main issue with this is that once you chop down the tree, it does not actually, well, decay as you can see with that one. But that doesn't matter too much because we can still grow them. We can still grow the trees without actually having to remove that first. So that's, it's fine, actually, it's fine. So one, two, and then eh, like so. And I will want a fence gate right there. And because I'm using blue fence, I of course want to use a red fence gate, just to make it look fancy. And I need even more. Uh, do I have a red fence gate? No, I do not, I do not have a red fence gate. Uh, let me get some more stuff. I'm actually just gonna take the one from my house and put this one instead because I like to switch it just just because I can. So we're actually gonna steal this from my uh, front door and then do that. Ah, I forgot the I forgot the um, gas. Do not dare blow this up. I need my what's it called? Break this so they can't just jump in. Break this with my hand. And I forgot my, my uh, bone meal. But let us first... Uh, yeah, I'm going to get my bone meal first. So I'm going to grab, like, what, three of these bone blocks? They each give nine. I think that should be plenty. <laughs> Hopefully this will be plenty. And let me see, do we have another? Yes, we do. Let's grab this one right here. And then we're going to place it. Gassed. Don't you dare place them in here. I don't know if they will grow naturally, actually. 
but we're just gonna help them along. So boom, 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 and boom. As you can see, if the fence would have been here, no, no, no. Phew. If the fence had been here, um, like here, for example, the fence would just have disappeared, which is, of course, not that nice. Okay, excuse you. Put this, and boom, and boom. Now, what we can do, uh, of course, we have to navigate through this, which I find fine. We also get these, which is amazing. I'm so happy that we can get these, because... As Spice Mines uh, said in the last episode's comments, um, these shroom lights and glowstone might be the only uh, easy way of getting lights. And I think that is true, because to get coal means wither skeletons and means danger. And also, is it a, is it a thing they drop all the time? I'm not too sure. But even if it is, it's a tedious process. <laughs> of hunting those down and then having to kill them to get what you need. So yeah, that's that's a thing. Um, so I'm happy that we can get these room lights from these trees. But yeah, that's basically my idea to just leave it like that. Now, hopefully, I'm hoping that Mojang will um, <laughs> make it so that this decays because uh, otherwise, yeah. Just no. Also, I need to act a little bit fast because I do see a hoglin up there. So I think uh, I might just get it down here, anyways. But let's. Um, I'm gonna chop some of these red, this red wood, because we need that for the pen for these the hoglins. I'm gonna leave these here and hope that they just grow on their own. But I, I highly doubt it. I doubt that is a feature yet. So I'm gonna chop some of the red wood and I'll be right back. Alright, so I got the fence that I need, so for the Hugglin um, pen, I want it up here. Uh, I was thinking just putting it here, but I'm not sure if I want to lower this and give myself a bunch more netherrack. I think I actually want to do that, so let me, let me grab my crafting table real quick and make a pickaxe. Alright, place has been cleared enough anyway. Uh, so what I want is a one. So one, two, three, four, five. And then a thing. And then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two. And then like that. Isn't that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. That is exactly what I want. And I actually want this out as well. Because you see, uh, what do I need here? I need this, boom, boom, boom. And then I need two of these, believe it or not. Because as these things will attack me, the easiest for me will be to just lure them in and hopefully they can actually fit through this. I actually don't know. I guess we'll find out. If not, we'll have to make changes. But I think for now that is gonna be fine. I do want to equip these and just put these in the corner. Now I am aware that these guys will be able to open these doors right now, but um, we'll just remove them once we're done. There we go. Put that away. Get me my crafting table. And let's see if we can lure at least one down here and hopefully it will stay. Um, let me actually remember how to breed them. Hold on. So to breed a Hoglin, we need crimson fungi. So that we have right here. So that is perfect. Now I, I hope that it's still up there. It looks like it has despawned. So I think, to be honest with you, that they're gonna despawn. I'm just gonna forget looking over there. I'm just gonna go back to the place where I saw uh, the three or how many that it was, and hope that I can get to all the way over here. So let's hope. All right, let's see. Do we have any? Oh, there's one here and there's another down 
there. It's okay, down there. Oh, they're fighting that one. So that's not gonna be a candidate. How about you? Excuse me, would you like to come a this away? Oh, there's two now. They're being hunted, actually. They're actually being... Oh, dear. <laughs> they're being hunted. All right. Um, question is if they're going to hunt all of them. Well, I have this one. I might as well try and get this one with me. Um, ow, ow, ow. Get me. Okay. Oh, you're coming this way, are you? Yep, he's coming this way. He's following me. He's following me. Okay, this this is gonna be a little bit dangerous. Maybe he doesn't want to leave his biome. That might be it. Hey, buddy, come on, come and get me. I think he might not want to leave his biome. Yeah, he does not like to leave his biome apparently. Yeah, he's he's not leaving that biome. Oh, well then. Well, I suppose until that changes or something, I suppose that we just got to kill them then. It does look like they spawn kind of like, um, yeah, he does not want to leave. What if, what if I do that? He does not know what to do. Yeah, he's very confused. <laughs> okay. Will you still follow me? Oh, wait, wait. Wait. Nope. Wait. Come on. Come on. You're gonna come for me or what? This is interesting though. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get this guy over here, I don't think. That's gonna be pretty tough, but hey, that just means we have to go hunting for, um... That just means we have to go hunting. I guess together with the piglins here. To, um... To get some food and leather. I mean, I won't mind that. I'm gonna avoid the little one there. I don't mind that, actually. That's, that's cool. We have to go hunting for it. So, unless that Mojang changes... It's so that they don't despawn, because I believe they despawn, and that they can leave their biome. Then we won't be able to, um, to use them. Um, I don't know why they then added the, the breeding feature. But I guess maybe the babies don't despawn or something. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But uh, hey, we took a look at them. We now have a food supply, basically. We, we have a way of getting food. Um, it just takes a little bit of effort to actually get out here in the Crimson Forest and hunt these uh, hucklins down. Which could take a bit, because they, uh, they might not spawn right away like here. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm probably going to do some hunting off camera. Um, and yeah, get back to that fortress. I'm gonna hunt, get some more food, and we're gonna get back to that fortress and give it another go. So I'm actually going to end it right here. So I hope you enjoyed. We finished the wood, uh, kind of wood garden, wood, wood farm thing, whatever you want to call it. Kind of, sort of did that. Um, they don't drop their own saplings, so that's a bit unfortunate. But uh, now there's two of them. Yeah, it's a bit weird. But yeah, we'll have to wait to see in the next snapshot. In the next episode, we will go ahead and uh, raid that forest. Sorry, fortress. So yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Oh, buddy, you're in for a beat now. Oh, I'm going to let them do the killing. I can preserve my sword. Thanks, guys. Whoa. Oh, no. Did I attack? I think I upset them. I think I accidentally hit one of the piglins. Yep, I did. Oh dear, I'm out. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> I'm gonna run for my life. Goodbye. Oh no, don't shoot me in the lava. Okay. Whew. Hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> Goodbye.